Hey everybody, David Posnick with Posnick Training here, and today we've got a quick video for you on how to stretch the pecs. The pecs, the pectoral muscles, are these guys here in the chest. They get worked when you do any sort of pushing exercise, like a push-up, a bench press, or a cable crossover. If you've been watching my YouTube channel or you're in my membership program, you know I love push-ups and all kinds of push-up variations. So make sure that at the end of a really intense chest or push-up workout, you do this stretch to relax open those pectoral muscles. All right, so for this one, what you're gonna do is put yourself close to a wall, and you'll put your hand out as if you were gonna shake someone's hand. And when you get to the top of that handshake, right there is a good height to put your hand. So you see that it should be a little bit below your shoulder. Not too low, not up here, nice and relaxed. From here, you will face the wall, and then gently, you're gonna move your feet and your body and rotate open away from your hand. Now, what you wanna be thinking about is specifically feeling the pectoral muscles of the chest open here. So we're not just lazily turning the body, but actually thinking about opening and expanding through the chest. As you find yourself slowly reaching a point where you begin to feel that stretch intensify a bit, you'll inhale to gently expand the chest. Exhale, rotate a little bit deeper. Again, inhale, expand the chest. Keeping the head floating and the spine nice and long, we exhale. Feeling that nice opening through the entire chest. You'll wanna do this for about five to 10 slow breaths. And when you're finished, very gently and slowly coming back out of that stretch. Now, one very important detail is what you do with the hand. If you've watched my video on push-up foundations, which I'll link below, you know that for push-ups, you don't wanna just be lazily resting your palms against the wall or even like this. You want to be actively pushing through the second and third pads here, as well as the fingertips. And the same way that we would activate through the pads and the fingers for a push-up, we'll do the same thing in this stretch. So I'm not just going to have my hand relaxed and lazy with all the weight here against that carpal tunnel. Instead, I'm going to activate and push open through the pad of my hand. And the palm here, you'll see, even comes gently off of the wall. So as I push that pad and I reach through the fingertips, I'm keeping my hand active. So relaxing through the chest and torso and gently pushing and expanding through that hand. So that is the one arm version. You can do one side, then the other at the end of a workout or even at the beginning of the day just to open up your chest and get ready for your day. But if you'd like to take this to the next level, especially if, for example, you work at a computer and you find yourself a lot with these shoulders hunched forward or say you spend a lot of time watching my videos and hitting the like button over and over, we tend to get a lot of shortening through the pectoral complex and the front of the shoulders. In that case, let's move to the corner and show you one of my favorite stretches in the whole world. So now we're gonna look at this variation in the corner where we will stretch both sides of the chest at the same time. Now, I spent three years at the Salzburg Experimental Academy of Dance in Austria, and there was a corner like this between the two main dance studios. And my rule for myself is that I was not allowed to walk through the studio without stopping and doing this stretch for at least five slow breaths. This stretch alone completely changed my life. I think it's the single strongest factor that took me from being this guy in my early 20s to learning how to really relax my shoulders down, open my chest without any tension, just feeling nice and open. So for this one, we will be doing roughly the same stretch, but now instead of putting the hands at the top of that handshake position, we're gonna lift them up to about the same height as the shoulder. You wanna place your hands on both sides with your elbows gently bent. Not totally straight, not cramped in, just kind of a nice relaxed feeling. From here, you'll very gently bend your knees and you're just going to let yourself fall forward. Now in this time, you're not trying to keep your whole body vertical like we did on the one arm version. You are actually allowing yourself to gently fall down and in. So I'm still lengthening out the top of my head with a nice relaxed neck and a long spine, but just allowing the weight of my body to sink in and stretch open the entire chest. You'll notice once again, my hands are not lazy and pushing pressure on the wrist and the carpal tunnel, but rather activating through the pads of the second and third finger 
gently opening the fingers and relaxing forward. From here, if you'd like to get a little bit more of an intense stretch on either side, you can bring those hands just a tiny bit closer to you, gently relax into that stretch, and then we'll exhale and move to one side to intensify the stretch on the right. Relax into that stretch, inhale to center, and exhale. And I can repeat one side and then the other as many times as I'd like. Now, for those of you who might have already a very flexible chest and shoulders, there are some folks who can just reach their arms right behind them and clap their hands. I'm not one of them, but if you are, here's a little hack for you. Instead of placing the hands here, you'll place them a little bit higher up with your fingers at a 45 degree angle to the corner. And of course, your elbows pulled a little bit closer in. So instead of out here, you wanna reach until your arms are a little bit less than a 90 degree angle. From here, rather than just moving in, you're really gonna let the knees bend and your body falls down and forward. And as you relax yourself down into the corner, you should get a really nice intense stretch through the front of the pecs and the shoulder. And then the last little tip is that you can gently bend your knees and sink down as you breathe easily to roll that stretch through the different parts of the pectoral muscles. As always, we gently come out nice and slow, relaxing those muscles, and there you have it. Stretches for the pecs or both pecs. Open up that chest, start your day, end your day, and always at the end of a nice strong chest workout, gently opening up those muscles we've been working. I'm David Posnick with Posnick Training. We'll see you soon.